Six men and one woman climbed into this shoulder-width hiding place in a van coming over on a ferry from France. There wasn't enough room to move or even air to breathe. A ferry worker heard their screams, but they very nearly died. One had a stroke, another has kidney damage. Today, the man driving the van was sentenced to 10 years. The judge told Anas Al-Mustafa from Swansea, the number of people risking their lives would be much reduced if there weren't people like you trying to make money from their desperation. Every week, hundreds take the even bigger risk of boarding smugglers' boats. On Tuesday, six adults and six children died when a boat sank soon after leaving the French coast. Today, the Home Secretary and Prime Minister held an operational summit with the National Crime Agency and MI5, and they say they're already making business difficult for the smuggling gangs. Even in the last few weeks, we've seen the work with Bulgaria to stop some of the boats and engines that were destined for the channel, but we want to go much further, and that's why we have this operational summit today, and that's why we see this as such important work. Police say they've stopped 40 boats and engines getting to Calais. Still, a charity which supports migrants there says smugglers don't seem to have any problems finding boats. But more are being stopped by the French police, meaning the ones that do get away are dangerously overcrowded. This pressure on the beaches make more danger for the people who try to cross. That makes the people do, uh, going on the boat more quickly with less preparation. Sometimes there are two boats who try to cross, but one is stopped, so many people go on the boat who can leave. For example, in February, there were 112 people on the same boat. It's difficult to rescue that many people if a boat sinks. Many more have died or gone missing in the channel this year than last. Today, the government said in the two months since it took charge, there have been fewer crossings than in previous years. It said better relations with Europe has seen more cooperation by agencies like Europol when it comes to fighting the smuggling networks. But the new Border Security Command still needs a commander to lead the battle against the smugglers' boats. Even after the sinking on Tuesday and the deaths of 12 people, over 300 more got into boats bound for England.